Hi, my name is Lauren Kennedy and I am a parent of two children, a little girl and a little boy. A child of America myself, I have been raised in the narrative of American exceptionalism. There is no one like us, we are incomparable. And when it comes to guns, we're right. Only in America do civilians own nearly 400 million firearms, accounting for nearly half of all guns in the world. Only in America do we benchmark school shootings. We don't refer to them as never again. Instead, we have to talk about them as the deadliest child massacre since the last one. Only in America do we ask ourselves in the headlines of national newspapers whether active shooter drills prevent school shootings. Of course they don't. We don't build bomb shelters to prevent bombs from dropping. We build them to mitigate the kill count. And only in America do parents like me have to ask their preschool principals about what active shooter drills they have in place. Only in America do I send my child's teacher a note of support after school because I've heard that the active shooter alarm went off that day. Thankfully, it was an accident, a mistake. But for 30 seconds, did her heart stop? And only in America do we sacrifice the souls of our children for corporate gun profits. Only in America do we subscribe to the lie that somehow open access to deadly weapons makes us safer, makes us more free. Only in America do we follow the massacre of children three days later with a national gun convention, a convention devoted to applauding the politicians, the elected leaders, the influencers who stand in the way of the very gun safety measures that could have saved the lives of those children in Uvalde, in Sandy Hook, in Parkland. Only in America do we ignore the haunting cries of parents whose children have been stolen from them. And only in America do we turn away from the photographs of the small children killed in their classrooms. Because only in America, in the darkest corners of our hearts, we know that this will happen again. In America, we have a moral responsibility to make this not so. We have to make this not so. Parents do not want to be exceptional when it comes to gun policies. The majority of America does not want to be exceptional when it comes to gun policies. America should not be exceptional when it comes to gun policies. And the only, only way to make this happen is to put in place common sense gun safety measures. So to our members of Congress, members of state legislatures, leaders of city hall, do this and do it now.